hi and welcome to this new update on Formula 2707. I've added a few new things for the Steam Next Fest. I've added two new big features. You can access them by two buttons in the home screen, but it's a surprise that's why I obscured them. One of these features is already rolled out and can be tried for free in the demo. The second one will be available only in the full release, so you may want to wishlist. I think these two features really increase the depth of the game, affecting replayability and length. Keep watching to see what they are. After some testing with other players I've noticed some things that had to be changed. Playing with other people is always a great way to notice small things. When you play your own game for hours, you always end up not noticing some strange behavior. Because even if you know it, you will never play as a stranger would play your game. One of the things is that at high speed, especially with keyboard the car, was too hard to control, too snappy and unpredictable. I probably didn't notice because my skill in my own game at this point are too good to be compared to the average gamer. Wait a minute. Let's go back. Yes, that's me. Probably was too unstable also for me. I was just too proud to admit that. So I changed the car controller script so that now the car steering becomes harder proportionally with the speed of the car. I also simply reduced the sensibility of the inputs. In the future I'll probably add an option in the character customization. So every player can decide how to set the sensibility. This new updated also fixes a bug of the last update, 1.04. After adding the drifting system, which was a late addition to the game. I actually disabled the normal brakes. Basically only the braking light was turning on but the brake torque was near to zero. At least it was funny seeing all the crashes that caused. It was an easy fix. But since I was there I also balanced the brake torques of all cars. So that the handbrake is less powerful to allow higher speeds while drifting. And the normal brake is way more effective so before learning to drift, the game will result less frustrating and demanding. And now, let's see the first of the two features that I talked about in the beginning of the video. That may seem quite small, but actually adds a lot of depth to the time mode. Finally, I included the Steam leaderboards, so you can challenge other Steam players and try to get the fastest lap in the world. The leaderboard will be separated from the main game to have consistent lap times, so whatever changes will not be brought to the final release. Now let's see the latest improvement brought by the update. Then we'll see the feature hidden under the other button. Another thing that was long time due, the improvements to the pit stop system. Previously the pit stop time was fixed, and the quick time event had an impact only on the performance of the car after the pit stop. That made the timing for using the pit stop really tricky. Because the only case where you wouldn't lose too much time was, if you used the pit stop immediately before a slow chicane so that when you get teleported back the plane wings gain much of the time lost. I still think I was fun and all but it was too difficult to convey to the players. Even with my friends that were playing with me, they didn't grasp it before a lot of games. That made me understand that wasn't good enough. So, now the pit stop duration depends form the number of correct buttons you press in the quick time event. The robot arm. Pete repeat. If you are a connoisseur you know a code to what it is, will execute the pit stop much faster the more correct inputs you press. And also the plane wings are now 25% faster so in general will make you gain a lot more time but when used as a power-up. And now, the feature under the button is Online Multiplayer. All the features of the multiplier will be rolled out after the game release. I'm still testing the racing system without power-ups. That's why there is that text over the button that says Alpha 0.1. When the multiplayer will be stable enough, I will add the power-ups. Grant the best experience to the players since the main focus of the game is still the local multiplayer. The online experience I think is a nice ad. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video subscribe, leave a comment, or wishlist the game. See you next time.